Hey YouTubers. Hey, today we are going to be showing you a trick that I have researched and, and YouTubed and Googled and everything else you can find to figure out how to go about resetting this. This is a 2004 Honda Civic Hybrid. And the issue with it right now is this right here. So if you look right here, because it is a hybrid, it's got this air that comes on IMA and then the check engine light. So right now we are due for emissions. And because of that right there, IMA, IMA is your integrated motor assist light. Um, that has to do with your hybrid batteries. Basically what it is is saying that one or two of the cells in the hybrid battery are weak. They're not, they're not uh, getting a full charge on them. It's just age. Um, but because of that IMA light, the check engine light comes on and seeing how we are due for emissions. And now the check engine lights on, the uh, service station will not um, pass your emissions with that check engine light on. So you either got a couple options, you can either replace the hybrid battery, which is expensive, or um, you can do this trick. Um, this took me a little while to figure it out. In fact, I pulled the whole battery out and um, recharge the batteries, recharge the cells. It's a lot of time, uh, could get pretty expensive. So this is a trick that I found works, but um, you gotta follow these instructions very carefully. So the first thing is, is we gotta find out what the code is and reset it. So you got you an OBD2 uh, scanner. Um, make sure, uh, you know, it's the, the one that you can reset the codes with. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug it in. Okay, now we're gonna start reading. So now it's reading the codes. Okay, there we go. So that's showing us that we have uh, nothing on with emissions, but we do have two um, DTC. I'm not 100% sure with that, but that's, in, that's our error codes anyways. So we can check that, just go in there. So we got two faults, okay. Fault number one is P1600, and I'll show you on the um, video. And then the next one is the um, P1433. But they both have to do with the hybrid battery. Um, so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna clear these, okay? So we're gonna go and we're gonna erase. Erase, yes, we do wanna erase them, okay. And erase done. Now, if you look up here, now we have no more errors. Okay, IMA went away, the check engine light went away. So now here comes the trick here. Now, because of that, if we, let's rescan it. Oops. Now, when you clear this, what it does is it clears all of your um, sensors as well, the O2 sensors. And so you've got to drive so many miles, and I don't know what the miles is, um, to get those cleared as well. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, if we was to take this in and have it uh, inspected right now, have the emissions done on it, it would come up and say that your oxygen sensor is, is not reset. So what we've gotta do is go for a drive. But now here comes the trick here. When we're driving, um, we wanna keep our RPMs low enough that we do not get into the uh, electric assist part of the, of, the, of the engine. You gotta keep it down low enough that all you're using is the, the gas engine. So when you're stepping on the throttle, um, I'll show you. You're gonna wanna just keep it real Feather it real light, on and off. So if you watch up here, right here you've got the charge and then the assist. So if I step on it, <clears throat> if I step on the gas too much, it'll start, it'll say, oh, I need some more, I need some electric assist. So then it'll get into the assist mode. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive probably a good, 15, 20 miles to get those oxygen, the, uh, the 
O2 sensors to reset. So right now we'll just go real slow. And you can see how slow we're going, just as long as we don't get into that electric electric uh, motor. So it takes a little bit of uh, patience, a little bit of joy riding. Hopefully you got a nice little area where you can um, just get out and and kind of cruise the back roads <clears throat> as long as you don't step on the gas too much just feather it you can get up to speed you can get up to whatever you need to um, you just got to do it real slow and gradual to get up to there so what we'll do right now is we'll put you on the uh, um, see if you watch up here again See, if I step on it too much, if I step on it, there it goes up in the assist. So you want to let off the gas. If you see it go into that assist at all, like that, let off the gas. Because it's going to try to use that electric battery and then it's going to uh, throw that IMA alarm up again. So what we'll probably do right now, we'll just put you on a time lapse. We'll, uh, we'll do some cruising around. Um, We'll go 15 miles. What are we on now? We're on 30. Let's see. Let's get this reset here. Okay, we're on set, uh, 710 right now. So we'll probably drive till we're about 725 ish, maybe even 730. That'll give us a good 20 miles before I take this in and, and have it have the emissions done on it. So, okay, we'll just get you on a time lapse right now and we'll. Uh, cruise real slow and go for a few miles. Right now we're just going to go, we're going to rescan it. Okay, we will rescan it. We're on about uh, 15 miles, so about halfway there see what the reader says here our sensors are at okay so we are so still no alarms okay so now what we're gonna do is we are going to go in and we'll show you what the sensors are doing right now so in the I am I don't I guess that's maybe emissions I'm not sure what that is um, so we're gonna go into there okay now we're gonna scroll through these okay that one's ready fuels ready CCM's ready, CAT's ready, don't have one of those, EVAP, there you go, not ready. So that's what we're doing, that's why we're driving right now, because that EVAP sensor is not ready. Um, we gotta wait until that turns to ready, uh, two, not there, AC's not there, that one's ready, that one's ready, EGR, sir, that one is not ready. So that's another sensor that we're waiting for it to clear. And I believe that's all of them. So that right there, that's that's what we gotta do. We gotta keep driving until those are ready. Until everything goes ready and then we're then we're good. So Alright, I apologize. Here we are back again. So it's been a couple days. Um we're gonna run a scan here again real quick. So I am not hundred percent sure what uh, clears these sensors. Um, what it is that gets them to finally clear and say they're ready to go. So if you remember our EGR, so now if we go through and we look at our sensors, we had the only one that we couldn't get to clear was the EVAP. Now EVAP is ready. That EVAP has to do with like your, uh, the vapor that's in your gas tank, could be a gas cap, something like that. And I don't know, like I say, I don't know what it is that gets that one to clear. The monitor that uh, finally reads it and says you're good. But anyways, we drove for quite a while. I couldn't get it to reset. The EGR was the other one that wasn't resetting. But after about uh, 20, 25 miles, that one, that one cleared. That one went ready. So it was just the EVAP one that uh, would not clear. And I don't know that it was... I let it sit for a couple days. I didn't drive anywhere yesterday, um, so I don't know if they're just just letting it sit for a couple days. Um, getting back in, going now. So, so now we are 100% ready to go. Everything's cleared. Um, I don't have any 
IMA light, no check engine lights are on. So we're good to go. So we're on the home stretch now. Now all we gotta do is just creep this thing to Jiffy Lube, wherever you take it to to get your emissions done and let them run uh, their test and cross your fingers, everything looks good and when you pass, there we go, just had to flip those on. Um, just kind of creep it along. Gradually pick up speed as you go. All right, coming up here on my left is Jiffy Lube. There it comes. Just gotta get into there and, and you made it. All right, just like that, look at that, big pass stamp. We're good to go. So now let's see. Now we're gonna drive like normal. Yeah, thanks for watching. If anybody has any comments or questions, uh, just post them on there, let me know. Hope this helps somebody out there. Somebody that gets frustrated with that IMA light and they won't pass the emissions. It'll, it'll get you by till next year. Till next time you gotta get the emissions done.